My name is Nancy Rubens, and I'm the artist who made this work. So how did you go about collecting these pieces? Um, I had seen these cast, uh, the cast bronze animals at this guy's place who's been providing me with a, a metal materials for a very long time. And I first saw the bronze pieces maybe 15 years ago, and I've been thinking about them for a long time. Yeah. So recently, about two years ago, I started working with these large cast turtles and the wolves. And then one day he came over and saw that I was working with the uh, turtles and wolves and he said, you know, you want some pigs? I said, sure. And he brought all these wonderful cast aluminum pigs over. And I started thinking about the pigs and I thought, you know, these are the this old aluminum that's been melted down and used mm. and reused and used again and I'm just getting them fresh off the line they mm. this is old melted aluminum that has been many many things in the past so I started really looking at them and the wonderful thing about these elements is that they're tube shapes mm -hmm. and a tube structurally is a very very strong element mm -hmm. so with those tubes, I could build out these wonderful cantilevers coming out off these pieces. And they are structurally sound enough to uh, uh, work as structural elements in themselves. So I really loved working with that, them in those terms. Why animals? I, I looked up your other, I looked you up on YouTube yes. and everything, and I saw that you'd done kind of old carousel horses and things. Yes. It seems that you use a lot of animals in your work. Well, the old carousel horses and the little uh, children's springy playground equipment, mm -hmm. I started working with a number of years ago, and that came out of, prior to that, I had been using a lot of scrap airplane parts. And when I started look, seeing these playground equipment pieces, I realized that those were the airplane parts after the war, after World War II, that were melted down when the soldiers came back from the war and children started being made, that the airplanes for the war were not necessary anymore. And so people melted down this aluminum and made these wonderful playground equipment for the kids. It was recycled, and so, recycling. Yes, that's right. And when I got them, they were just ready to go down to the recycler again and be melted down and probably make these. Yeah. So, so recycling always comes back. It's like reincarnating yes. metal. It's reincarnating metal. Amazing. So when you were younger, did you used to kind of collect things? Was this always something you had an eye for? I wasn't so much a collector as I love making things. Yeah. And so as I got older, I realized that I could collect all these wonderful things and hoard these things and use those as my materials to make things with. And what's your favorite animal if you had to kind of pick one out of these? <laughs> if you had to be like, this is my spirit animal. <laughs> Do you have a favorite? I love them all. You love them all? Yes. <laughs> I love the crocodiles. I guess they're easy to kind of move into the you know sculpture I love, as well. I love that you can see the inside of them and you see yeah. where the welds are and you see how it's made. Yeah. So there's no illusion that it, it's not a real crocodile. Yeah. It's a cast piece of metal and you yeah. see the welds and you see you know, the little uh, uh, pads where it can be bolted to the ground. So there's no illusion that it's an animal. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. It's brilliant.